everything inside me. The symbolism surrounding Lady Gaga is so blatant that one might wonder if it's all a sick joke. The cult elite symbolism is becoming so clear that analyzes like this one become a simple exercise of pointing out the obvious. Her whole persona, whether it's an act or not, is a tribute to mind control, where being vacuous, incoherent, and absent-minded becomes a fashionable thing. Gaga is a term that immediately refers to absent-mindedness. Here are some synonyms taken from Ethosaurus. Given to light-hearted silliness. Empty-headed, feather-brained, flighty, frivolous, frothy, giddy, hair-brained, light-hearted, scatterbrained, silly, slang bird-brained, dizzy. Afflicted with her exhibiting irrationality and mental unsoundness. Brain-sick, crazy, daft, demented, disordered, distraught, dotty, insane, lunatic, mad, maniac, maniacal, mentally ill, moonstruck, off, touched, unbalanced, unsound, wrong. Gaga is probably the easiest word to say in the English language, as it is often the first sound emitted by babies trying to imitate speech. So her name basically says, I'm a lady, and I'm empty-headed. This empty head can be filled with any crap you want. Imitate me, young people. This state of mind is achieved through successful mind control. Her name is also said to be inspired by Queen's song, Radio Gaga. The video of this song contains many scenes of the 1927 movie Metropolis. As seen in my video about Bay and C, the motion picture tells the story of a woman from the working class that was chosen by the elite to give life to a robot through a mix of science and black magic. This is a scene from Metropolis, Maria giving her likeness to a robot. Is this a metaphor for mind control? Notice the inverted pentagram in the background. Black magic. This robot becomes a sexy and alluring performer and is given the goal to corrupt the working class. References to this movie abound in music videos, as if it was very significant for the occult elite. Madonna, Beyoncé, Kili Minog, and many others, have taken the likeness of this female robot, and, as you'll see in the paparazzi video, Lady Gaga also continues this tradition. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Her logo is pretty revealing and particularly fitting. It's a headless female body, with a bolt of lightning going through her and exiting her genitalia. There is once again a focus on the lack of conscious thought by the singer. The body looks like the weird headless mannequins you find at clothing stores, the bolt of lightning implies that her thoughtless body has been charged with a force that gives it life. Interesting note. Trauma-based mind control is often induced using electroshock treatments. You only need to look at a couple of Lady Gaga pictures or videos to notice that she is constantly hiding one of her eyes. Most people will simply interpret this as a cool thing to do, or a fashion statement. Those who have passed the 101 of occult elite symbolism know that the all-seeing eye is probably its most recognizable symbol. The gesture of hiding one eye, usually the left one, goes way back in occult orders. Here's an explanation of the origin of the Eye of Horus. Horus, the son of Osiris and Isis was called Horus who rules with two eyes. His right eye was white and represented the sun. His left eye was black and represented the moon. According to the myth, Horus lost his left eye to his evil brother, Seth, who he fought to avenge Seth's murder of Osiris. Seth tore out of the eye, but lost the fight. The eye was reassembled by magic, by Thoth, the god of writing, the moon and magic. Horus presented his eye to Osiris, who experienced rebirth in the underworld. One thing is for sure. Lady is Gaga for the all-seeing eye. 
This last picture is very significant. It confirms the fact that the closed eye is used in the context of esoteric symbolism. Her left eye is in her hand, referring to the hand of Fatima, evil eye. Also, one can't ignore the resemblance with good old Baphomet. This screenshot shows all seeing eye on the backs of Gaga's dancers during her monster tour. Almost all of Lady Gaga's videos contain occult symbolism and not so subtle hints referring to mind control. We'll first look at a short video used as an intro during her tour. This video is loaded with symbolism, but we'll focus on the main story. It basically describes the fall and rise to the top of Lady Gaga, who, during the process, went through a huge metamorphosis. Lady is in a bedroom with her boyfriend, and they're getting it on. Notice the Masonic checkerboard pattern on the wall and the ram's head, representing Baphomet. He takes her outside on the balcony, which also features a checkerboard pattern. After noticing cameras taking pictures, the guy starts acting strangely, and things get violent. He finally pushes Lady off the balcony. While falling down, the background becomes a swirling pattern, typically associated with hypnotism. Lady Gaga falls down rather stylishly, hinting the fact that this descent is not physical. It represents the trauma victims of mind control have to go through in order to be rebuilt from scratch. Lady Gaga then enters a mansion in a wheelchair and gradually takes off her clothes. She slowly starts walking, with the help of crutches, representing her re-education by the occult elite. She is dressed like a robot, hinting Maria from the movie Metropolis. Another scene shows her dancing in a half-white half-black wedding dress. This signifies her association with the Dark Brotherhood. Her transformation is then complete. We then see her next to the boyfriend that pushed her off the balcony. She is wearing Mickey Mouse clothes, hinting once again monarch programming. She is behaving in a very robotic way, as if her thoughts and actions were controlled by someone else. Gaga then proceeds to poison the guy, and smiles very weirdly about it. The fact that she murdered her boyfriend refers to the level delta of the monarch project, which is also known as the killer programming. Here's a description of it. Delta. This is known as killer programming, originally developed for training special agents or elite soldiers, i.e. Delta Force, 1st Earth Battalion, Mossad, etc., in covert operations. Optimal adrenal output and controlled aggression is evident. Subjects are devoid of fear, very systematic in carrying out their assignment. Self-destructor suicide instructions are layered in at this level. After carrying out a murderous mission, Lady Gaga is more popular than ever, and reaps the rewards of being an occult elite slave. If you are still doubtful of the occult themes of this videos, check out this snapshot from the behind-the-scenes video of Paparazzi. The director of the Paparazzi is wearing a Venom shirt, bearing the face of Baphomet and the sigil of the Church of Satan. So, there is a chance that the director is slightly aware of those kinds of things. Lady Gaga infuses into her videos photos and shows symbolism that refers to the occult elite and mind control. Her symbolism is deep, esoteric, and even spiritual, yet she makes song like Just Dance, which is about being totally numb. This paradoxical aspect of Lady Gaga is something that deserves to be analyzed and understood. While masses of young people imitate Gaga's gestures, her act is part of a bigger system that incorporates many other stars with the same symbolism. She is creative and a gifted songwriter. But at the end of the day, the Lady Gaga persona is a fame monster, doing everything required to be an international superstar, including incorporating in her act the symbolism of the occult elite, making her an elite puppet. What's your opinion on the subject, Lady Gaga? That's what I thought. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. 
stay safe and healthy.